Welcome to Orlando, NBA players. Welcome to our hot, humid state right now. I'm sorry you're living in a bubble, but I think there's a few things we need to talk about. As an avid basketball fan and humongous fisherman, I'm here to give you a few little minor tips that might help you look more like a man. Because quite honestly, right now, a few of you don't look like men. You look dainty. And that ain't cool. So this morning, I'm going to give you a few tips that are not only going to help you look like an angler and someone who's actually been outdoors at some point in your life and went fishing, but also might help you catch fish. Step one, or tip one. This is a spinning reel. Maybe not the one you use. This is a Shimano Stratic CI4. One of the best on a castaway rod. Very good too. But a spinning reel always goes down. Up, bad, no bueno. Down, thumbs up. Yeah, good job golf clap. There we go. Yeah. I got it out. Up. You don't want to do that. It looks like you're in a, a fishing commercial and the, the producer of the fishing commercial also has never fished. Up. Bad. Down. Good. Oh. Oh. That was real little. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Up. Good. This one's good. Remember that. Remember, down is good. Now you can move the reel from either side, and you can reel it from your right hand or from your right hand or your left hand. But reeling it like this and reeling it backwards. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 How no? No. If you're going to use a live worm, a worm, I don't know if you're watching too many videos uh, while you're in the bubble, but uh, worms don't burrow through the ground and eat people. They don't have massive teeth. I know that might be scary for you NBA players. They don't have massive teeth. It's a freaking worm. It might be a little slimy and icky, and you might have to put some hand sanitizer on your hands afterwards. But it's a worm. It can't hurt you. Ah, oh, they're alive, alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, they're alive, alive. At all. It might crap on you, and that's the worst thing it can do. That's really the worst thing it can do. It's a worm. Put it on your hook. Put it all over there. Putting it on one corner and, and screaming and yelling like you've never seen a worm or touched a worm in your life? No, 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 no. Starting to look like girls with the worms, honestly. The worms made you look like girls. Girls should be afraid of worms because they're not out here playing in, out in the outdoors or digging for them or finding them under stumps and trees and rocks. Men know that you can touch a worm and the worm isn't going to hurt you. Now if you want to eat it, yeah, it might be a little bit gross, but you're not eating it, the bass is. Time to grow a pair, boys. Time to grow a pair. Next, if you just happen to catch a fish, or a bass in particular, you should know a bass doesn't have teeth. You can grab it by the lip and hold it. And all it's gonna do is it might scratch up your thumb. Keep reeling in. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not touching them. You got them now. Damn. You got them. <laughs> yes, sir. I know you guys get pedicures and manicures and your little fingernails are all perfectly polished and dainty and all that stuff. But as a bass angler and an outdoorsman, having that scratch on your thumb is what we call bass thumb. Yes, sir, I will not touch them. It's kind of like a, a fishing scar. We look forward to it. You like to feel it on your fingers as you're after you're done fishing. Is he alive still? Yeah, yeah, he's still yeah alive. alive. 
die. He's not gonna die. We're gonna throw him back in the water. You gonna eat him? Exactly. But it can't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you. It's a scratch. I'm just gonna hold it in front of you. You hold it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it in front of you. Turn the way. Oh. And most bass, all bass, are not gonna hurt you. Your fish down here in Florida, most of them don't have teeth, especially the ones in in Disney. This is mouth. Hold on, let's do it in the shade. Stop playing, man. It's <laughs> and you're gonna probably catch more bass than anything, or a bluegill. Heaven forbid you should catch a bluegill that's this big and start cry going crazy. So lip it. <laughs> on the back. Bro, he's strong from the back. He's right. me, bro. You're not Take your picture and get it back in the water. <laughs> There's no reason to scream or not touch it. Oh, damn! Oh, yeah, it's a big fella. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Damn! Damn! Oh! He's fighting me! It's a little slimy, yes. But my God, it's just a fish. You've probably eaten hundreds of them. This one, dumb, dumb fight. I know you can be scared at first, but my God, screaming and not wanting to touch it or petting it. Eh, if you're five to six years old, yeah, you can pet a fish. And your father can do his thing. But you're men. It's another day in Disney World. You're out there battling for a championship, beating each other up, dunking, talking trash, doing all the great things, playing good defense. But you're afraid of a worm and a bass, which both can't hurt you. His own shot on, up under the backboard. Whoa. And then somebody opened the Let's man up, NBA players. Let's man up. Last and not least, if you're using a spinning rod, I'm going to give you another helpful hint. If you want to learn how to cast, here's what you do. Hold the rod like this. Pull the line and put it in your index finger. Your, like, trigger finger. Open up the bail. Rotate your hand backwards. Now make sure there's nobody behind you because you don't want to be doing this with a hook. Heaven forbid you to hook one of your players, one of your, one of your NBA players that are on your team, and the next thing you know, you're not going home for COVID. You're going home because your buddy hooked you, hooked you in the eye with a hook. So be careful. Watch behind you. Put your finger there, and you want to. It's just, and you let go. Close the reel. Reel down, reel down good, reel down is good. Reel up, what is that one? I know I might have to teach you guys a few times. Reel up, I wanna hear you say it. Reel up, bad. Reel down, good. Write that down, we'll be taking a test later on. Reel up, if you said good, you're in trouble. Reel up is bad. Reel down, good. Do it one more time, reel up. I hope you said bad. Reel down, bueno. So, it, and then as you throw it. And then just bring your, bring it in. Hopefully you'll catch a fish and hopefully you'll be a little bit better and not afraid of a worm or a bass. Cause I'm scared for y'all. I'm really scared for y'all. I know you get bored in this, this bubble, but my God, I've seen some of these videos I'm scared there's only one thing you've ever done in your life, and that's play basketball. You've never went fishing? I mean, this should be a point for you to take your kids fishing and show them how to do it. Because this is the great outdoors. It's what God created. God made this for us. For you and me. So get out there and take a kid fishing. Take your son fishing. If you need help, reach out to us. Let's do a few things. Take an NBA player fishing, or a kid. Get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on.
Cheers.